Hey, it's Manju Nayatsu. And we going into Dauntless. Decimate, penetrate, and berate my mental state. Times are hard, there's no debate. Up on night. Well, some of you know I've had this bad habit of going over time when I go streaming. So, since today I've gotten a lot of uh, unexpected things heading my way. And don't have that much time left in the day. I decided I'm gonna do this on camera, but you know, filmed. Okay. So yeah, we'll be heading in, checking out the updates and what we can do. Oh. Huh? Oh. Not for now. That's good. Okay. Don't last, baby. Ah, oh, okay. So it has restarted. That's interesting. Well, that's good, actually, I'd say. EU, yes. Let me just check that. Yeah, it's working. The controller was working. I guess we'll get started then. This is our Dauntless Revival. Hello, in and a welcome sense. to the Dauntless Closed Beta. From everyone here at Phoenix Labs, I wish to thank you for joining us on this journey. And this time we've taken our time. <laughs> Since launching our technical alpha, we've made vast improvements to Dauntless by yeah. working with players and discussing feedback with our one-of-a-kind community. You're about to play an early access portion of the open beta coming in 2018. Unlike some other betas, Dauntless is still very much a work in progress. You may notice bugs and crashes. Everyone here is working hard to make Dauntless the best experience it can possibly be. Welcome to the Shattered Isles. Here, humanity survives on floating cities and island outposts, traversing the skies aboard airships. Savage behemoths remain an ever-present and growing threat to humanity's survival. But against them stand the Slayers, heroic fighters who dedicate their lives to battling the behemoth menace. You are a Slayer recruit, about to begin your journey by facing off against the Nasher, one of the many behemoths preying upon the land. This is just the start of your adventure. Over the coming months and years, we'll be adding more behemoths and weapons, stories to explore, as well as new ways to experience Dauntless. We look forward to joining you on the hunt and hearing your feedback. If you have any questions or comments, head on over to playdauntless.com. From everyone here at Phoenix Labs, happy hunting. Yeah. I remember the first time I loaded this game up and started playing it, the mistake I made, oh, the mistake at the same time, just not the right attitude is, I had given one of the um, codes I had to a good friend of mine who actually does game a lot too, and I was hoping we would be playing together, but we haven't been playing that, we haven't been playing together actually, yeah, just the first time we were online at the same time, but that was it, pretty much. Yeah, that was the problem. Is the fact that I started the game thinking that we're gonna play together, but I should have started on my, you know, on my own terms, doing what I had to do, and that's what I'm gonna do this time. Dauntless, uh, like Monster Hunter, I haven't played really. Dauntless is the first Monster Hunter genre that I'm playing, in. and so far I've been enjoying it. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. 
if I really get into this, I will definitely check out Monster Hunter later on, but don't mess. What? Oh, yeah, Ancestry, that was it. I remember. This was an interesting system I found. Very interesting. So you choose who your Ancestry is. It would be cool. I'm I'm guessing that this will come in the in the you know final version of the game. But it would be cool if there was kind of like a backstory for each guy. But then again, it's just the looks that you're gonna take from both your ancestors. I wonder if they added a few new ones here. I'm not sure. I remember, the f yeah, the first time I even rushed, <laughs> that was the problem, like, I even rushed through this, uh, the whole creation of your cra character. So the character I created was nothing like I wanted. Mm. No, let's just check out what it looks like, whoever I choose. Okay, and that's interesting. So, when you're cho choosing your ancestors, it seems that you are just choosing like the bone structure rather than anything else. Ancestry, your slayer's appearance is a blend of two ancestors. You can adjust with the slider below. You can change your body type with the button marked below. Yeah. But the most important is that is the bone structure. Everything else is secondary, I'd say. At least at this point where I am. It's definitely good that I'm not doing this on stream. I know that I'd just be talking to you guys and I'd use so much time. So much time. Really you have to go through them one by one, I'd say. Because the eyes, the eyebrows, everything changes at the same time. <laughs> then you have a mix. See what they tried to do with it, but I almost wish it was a, you know, a normal system now. <laughs> but then again, I know that it's still the better test, so the, so it might change like the system. It might get easier. I mean, to go through rather because it is very, a very unique system that I can get behind. too evil with her. <laughs> to make avatars that look like me so mm. 
body type, why not go into that already? Oh, okay, just changes. Can we go? Oh no! It's male and female, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? It just changes. No, it's male and female. No, 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 no. We ain't done yet. <laughs> you know, let, let's already choose this stuff, which is, you know. Oh, okay. So you can, you can change it. You can. So they gave you the option of the whole ancestor thing. They can still modify pretty much everything here afterwards. Yeah. Hairstyles. Let's find a good hairstyle first. One of the most important things in the game. <laughs> That's a in uh, an MMO and online games where you can customize really. Must say. Oh, not bad. <laughs> it reminds me. Ah, oh, what was his name again? Sokka in the uh, Avatar, <laughs> the last Airbender. You call that uncut dreadlocks? Seriously? But the side is like shaved. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh damn! Is those PV if there was PVP in this game, that kind of haircut would work perfectly on the deal. <laughs> it's not my kind of thing, though. You know, I like this. The tight dreads. Why is his eyes like? It's a, you would think he he's either stayed up all night or is on some kind of drugs. That's weird. Okay, this is literally the eye size. So I, from where I am, it's actually hard to read some of these because my screen is quite far away. I deaf. So they mean I guess how far and it goes into your skull. Must be that. Yeah. <laughs> Super Saiyan 4. Yeah, actually not bad. No, actually not that bad. But it's still weird. Uh, here's the thing. I'm sure that when the the game comes out or when there's another gigantic update, I will have to redo this character anyways. So yeah, let's at least see the kind of things you get. Them eyebrows. Okay, I see. Is the angle of the eye. Let's change it a bit. Tip position. Okay, it's up and down. No, I don't need to change that too
Okay, the village wolf. Ah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the village wolf. Wolf, wolf. Village. Uh, that must be. Yeah, uh, uh. I don't know. Height. Yeah, I really do like taking my time when I'm making characters, but in this case, I won't take too long, I hope. You know, at least go and get a bit started. Now that we have to start from zero again. Interesting. Oh yeah, I see she regret not doing that the first time around too. <laughs> How far out it goes. <laughs> okay, okay. Interesting. Next is system I like it like I can understand the appeal for the highly complex systems like uh, black desert that one I spent way too long on it <laughs> hours spread of uh, spread along a few days to get you know a first character I was happy with and then I kept on creating a character and then I would go back to like I'll erase him to create a new character with which I tweaked a little bit <laughs> so yes choice is good but too much choice kind of kills it it does at least for me because yes I love being able to customize my character like I want to try and make them look like me or like a fantasy version of me but you know, I, I still want to play the game. <laughs> Size of the chin. X 
extras like tattoos nope face paint and makeup <laughs> let's check mm. I like it that they didn't lock it, you know, behind uh, genders. No matter the gender you can put it on. Surrealist. <laughs> yeah, I really wish I had come and checked everything out the first time around. I'm a survivor! Stalker. Almost blue. <laughs> trying to pick the one that I won't get bored of you know let's go with this one like I said I'm probably gonna have to change everything up again later on should not have touched that <laughs> yeah we're good okay you know I'm satisfied with this for now like I said, probably we'll have other occasions. Anyways, when the when the game comes out for real, I mean, there's basically no way it's gonna stay like this. Basically, no way they're gonna let me keep my character as he is. Don't think so. I'd be surprised if they do. Yeah, you get to see more like that. Okay, save. I'm happy for now. And now we got a taste of what the of what the customization looks like, at least so far. Oh yeah, and remember, don't less open beta is coming out in two thousand eighteen, and when the game comes out, it will be free to play. So you got a PC, just get on it. That's something I love, free to play games. <laughs> but they still have to be good. Hello Slayer, stranded by mysterious. Mm -hmm. Survive until rescue arrives. Search this small island for useful resources. Then these can provide crafting materials and useful supplies like potions. And I don't know, no, I don't think it started like this. Like the last time we started this game, I don't think it started like this. This is really way better than it was because I remember I went straight into a fight last time. And so, for like for each time I come and play, I was like, you know, you just pick up all the crafting stuff that you can, but you're like, okay, what can I use this for? But yes, for healing potions and stuff like that. And useful items too, like other items than just healing potions and. Stuff like that. When you are ready, seek out and face the behemoth known as the Ignatia. Slay the Ignatia, and your airship will be able to return and rescue you. Choose mouse and keyboard, or use the gamepad to play the game. First tab on your keyboard or options button. Okay. Yeah, I, I prefer this. Because now they've given us time to explore the area so you can take your time and use this in this first mission and see what the game looks like. You're not just thrown into a fight after fight after fight. And that's a good uh, good change there. Definitely. Mm. 
I understand that they might not want to hold players' hands, but maybe they should, you know, tell people how to dash and all that stuff. Like right there, I was surprised that I, I had even forgotten. Oh, nice. The sword is pretty cool. I was using the... Um, how do you call them? The blades? Sickles. I was using the sickles before. When I was playing the game. When I started playing, I should say. Haha. So. Okay, that's changed. That has changed too. Before you just had to walk on top of them to to get those. Simple healing potion, excellent. Yeah, that's what they looked like before. Mm. And for anyone who's wondering, yes, I do plan on streaming this regularly. Day was just not my day. I okay, guess so you still have to really go on top of it to get them. The sword animations have been, uh, you know, augmented, or if it's just that I was I didn't realize what it looked like before. But it really feels cooler than what I remember. The sword play. I'm going to explore as much as I can before I go down there and fight. I like the way it indicates that you actually did get the minerals now. It wasn't like that before. Hmm. Let's go back down and get up there. closed off the area so that you wouldn't wander too far off yep. which is understandable especially when it comes to new players you never know what they're gonna do you think you covered all your bases as a programmer and then People just go and do something completely unexpected. So I can understand that. Okay, I guess we start the fight. Let's not use up too much of our stamina already.
Ah, uh, no, I can't pick anything yet. So we come discreetly inside. Careful. I forgot how to dodge. <laughs> what was the dodge button? Double. Because I remember I can check here. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, they changed it. Yeah, they changed it. Nice. I like I like that idea having the um, the art in the background to let you know exactly what each menu is for. What do you have in hell? I'm stuck. Report of players and feedback. No. Yeah, that's interesting. I see if you don't remember how to dodge it. Okay, that's it. Finally, I remember. Stamina I wish my PC was a bit more powerful because due to right now since like I can play the game but when you're streaming or well, recording at the same time it does take its toll. Man! But it's interesting, it feels like this first one is tougher than I remember. Oh. 
Interesting. If all parts that fell off the enemy didn't give you straight up items, so I hope you still get the items at the end of the fight though. Does that mean you receive more by collecting during the fight? Possibly. I get various titles at the end of each uh, mission. Hmm. Guarded items. Okay, so you get a list of regarded items now at the end. That one was not a thing before. Let's see what else we got. In the beginning, I'll be ending. I'll be stopping soon. If anyone want to be doing this on the stream, it is cool. It's nice and quiet like this. <laughs> Ouch. Closed better. The people of the sh shattered island owls need your help, Slayer. Take up your arms and set sail to defeat the monstrous behemoths that threaten all humanity before it's too late. Visit the hunt, the hunt board to see what hunts are available. Yeah, that is the most important thing we can do. Okay. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I guess we got one, one slight problem. Maybe I can close it with the mouse. Yes, yes, all good. That looks dope. That looks dope, man. That looks so cool. <laughs> hey, let's talk. Uh. What'll it be, Captain? Quests. I ready the ship. I bet you're glad to be back on solid ground. You saved the cat's life and slayed a rogue Ganasha all on your own? That's impressive. I don't doubt you'll be a full blown slayer soon. So you'd better check in with Kat. She's eager to talk to you. Yeah, as you can see, it's slowing down right now. But that is probably just because of the machine I'm playing on at the moment. Got any news for me? Keep your eyes open. Hello, Slayer. Busy? 
Okay, they fixed that. Now you can actually select over the controller. No problem. It's good to see you made it back in one piece. I owe you one. But remember, Slayers work best as a team. Now that's out of the way, we need to talk, Rook. There's something you need to do. Nice work, you've reached the first Slayer rank with that victory. Want to increase your rank? Slay more behemoths to earn more Slayer experience. Ranks are a crucial measure of your abilities. You've heard of the Slayer's Cancel, veteran Slayers who offer guidance, coordination and logistics for independent operators like us. The Cancel assigns ranks to Slayers according to experience and skill, relying on Slayer mentors to judge when you'll one of the students reaches a new rank. Okay. Why do Slayers allow ourselves to be ranked? <laughs> because it's smart to know the capabilities of those you're fighting alongside. That's cool. Yeah, that, this is new actually, the rank. Funny how they put it in there though. <laughs> it helps ensure Slayers are hunting where they'll do the most good. Yeah. Open your loadout screen to view your current rank progress. I see you remembered your training. You did well out there. But your gear took a beating. Good thing the weaponsmith owes me a favor. Go talk to Will Bowman at the Bowman Smithy. Those behemoths slay themselves. Congratulations! You have graduated to a new Slayer rank. You will unlock higher Slayer ranks as you earn Slayer XP hunting behemoths. Slayer ranks will grant access to new equipment, supplies, and hunts that might not have been within reach before. You can check your current Slayer rank progress in the upper left corner of loadout screen. Okay. Every time you gain a Slayer rank, you will earn a Slayer call you can use to upgrade your gear and customize your character. Okay, that's cool. Every five ranks, 5, 10, 15, yeah, you'll also earn a new title that will show of how far you've come since your days as a Slayer recruit. Okay, let's go and get the weapons we want already. And then uh, we'll stop there. Ah, and I'll definitely have to do some tests, see if I can make the game more smooth. Ah, uh, ooh, yeah, too bad. I guess there's still a problem here. Uh, when you, this is just for when you're using the controller. Like, you can't select open all to see what you got. That's so, it would be good to put that in, uh, in, note that down for them. It's just these small things that can make, you know, an experience that's otherwise good annoying. <laughs> Hmm. I definitely go and check if I can make the game more smooth than this. Eventually, I'll just have a PC strong enough to, you know, do everything at the same time. But for now, I remember where the weapon smith is. Otherwise, yeah, you can see at the top there you've got that, uh, those indicators. Your campus and your indicator as to where you have to go. If you're new to the game. Okay, let's check. Okay, that's very nice. XP. I'd say that with the XP bars, they don't have to be uh, shy with it. With it, they can make it larger. I'd say. But then again, we just cleared, we just got you know an entire rank. They don't. We haven't seen what color the XP flow is actually yet. Ah, a bright light in my humble smith. <laughs> okay, I'm the bright light. <laughs> Mm, yeah. 
Redeem. Recruit, a pleasure to see you. But I cannot say the same about those poor battered weapons. Fortunately, our friend Catherine sent word and partial payment ahead. Seeking work. My friend, your weapons have seen some use. Let us give them some attention. Improve the balance, sharpen the edges. I can definitely give these an upgrade. Enter the crafting interface and upgrade at least one weapon. I await your imminent return. Uh, I wonder if it's because it's still... Mm, yeah, there's still a few things that you can't do entirely just with the Xbox controller, which is too bad, but nah, it is just the beginning. The game is not ready yet. Uh, I wish there was a scythe, but I know that scythes are not a common kind of weapon in games. But yeah, this is the new weapon that was uh, added to the game recently. Well, with the last big update, actually. Axe. So you got your broadsword, your axe, your hammer, which, if I remember well, also has a gun in it. Your chain blade, this is what I was using, and your war spike. I think the head can launch if I remember well from the video too. Yeah, yeah. From these weapons, I'm still most uh, s uh, attracted to the chain blade, so I'm going to continue with that for now. Mm. Okay. Foreman blades mean quality. What news from the frontier? Used well, good weapons should be. Not true Austrian craft, but I did my best to improve the screwed metal work. It will do until we can forge you new weapons. You may want to try and the other weapons you possess to test their effectiveness and use. I'd recommend you try them on a target such as Rogue Nasher. <laughs> now your weapons far use. outshine your battered armor, recruit. Have we spoken with our friend Armorsmith about that? Speak to Armorsmith, Moria, Hex... Hegester? Hexter? Hegester? Yeah. Check out. Weapons are only as good as the slayer who wields them. Always sunny in Ramsgate, huh? <laughs> Glad to see you in one piece. Well, look at the Gnasha drag. What the Gnasha Gnasher drag? <laughs> I say that based on the chew marks on your armor, but I can do something about that. And if you don't miss my guess, you went into. Ah, if I don't miss my guess, you went into that tussle without proper head protection, all because he saved the cat's life. Here, one mask on the house. Let's say you borrowed it permanently, for record keeping purposes. Open your lower out to put on your new borrowed mask. Listen. I need a few things. Cat's a family friend. How about I upgrade that arm of yours? Least I can do to help someone who helped family. Enter the crafting interface to upgrade at least one piece of armor. Remember, no armor. <laughs> Load out. This way you change our weapon. The sword is cool, but. Okay. Yeah. Still not perfect with the Xbox controller. 
unfortunately. Let me know that that's the kind of thing that of course will be sorted out before the game is out. Okay, that's a cool headgear. Wasn't like that. We didn't have that the first time. Oh no, it wasn't like that. It was a different one. Okay, let's upgrade one piece of armor and then we will stop here for today. But definitely next time I play we'll get a good set like good session in. Well, this is the basic, the basic one. We'll, we'll upgrade this quickly, anyways. So, might as well. She gives you one of each item so that you can upgrade. Like even the weapons, I could actually upgrade every one of them if I wanted to right now. Get them before they get you. Keeping busy? Yes, I am, sweetie. Sweetie. This wasn't nah. too tricky, I hope. There you are. It still doesn't have the style or durability of beh behemoth armor, but it will protect you a darn sight better than before. I guarantee it. Everyone needs notes. Either By the way, there's now. a new arrival in town looking for you. Some kind of scholar here to study behemoths. She seemed keen to talk to the Roku, who took down a rogue Nash's solo. Happy hunting. Like I said, we'll stop here. But yeah, I must say I was surprised. Maybe they maybe they made the first uh Behemoth a bit harder for those who were already played the game before. But I can I can easily see some Newbies getting their ass kicked in that first fight. Well, if they know how to use the potions, maybe they'll survive, but. Pretty harsh, though. Okay. I am actually excited to get back into this. And in a way, I am kind of happy that I had to restart my play again so that I could customize properly this time, show you what the customizations look like at the moment, and yeah go from there so yeah we'll be taking our time on this journey and but definitely next time I next time I'm pretty sure we will quickly get through the last you know missions that just introduce you to various shops and then we'll go in missions see how everything has changed get into a group fight as soon as we can because I know that the first missions are solo at least they were solo maybe they should change that too okay Yeah, definitely happy I started again. Like, I knew that if I didn't start today, I might, you know, postpone it again and again. But it's definitely a game that I want to see more of. So, you're going to see more of this, too. <laughs> okay, for now, we're off. I'll be sure to be online streaming next time. But doing it like this is not too bad because then I can concentrate on the game, too. But we'll see. We'll see how it works out in the end. I am still, that's why. Just trying to get the mouse out. <laughs> uh, I'll have to I'll have to plan my ending how I do it properly next time. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of the Dauntless or anything else that I do, you can check it out. Right now I'm more into gaming than anything else. But I have just started making an, uh, my anime reviews slash recommendations, which will then go into talks and even more things to come. So things are only starting up, and there is new content every day. 
And if you are interested in Dauntless, make sure to check out the website. I'll put it in the description below. If you want to join the closed beta test, otherwise the open beta test, like you saw in that beginning video, will start in 2018. So shouldn't be too far off, I believe. But there's no exact date yet. And like I said, once this game is out, it is free to play. Okay, see you next time. This was Manju Nayatsu going out. Yep, dauntless. Decimate, penetrate, and berate my mental state. Times are hard, there's no debate. All my